Our Holy Thursday liturgy ends with the worship space dark and bare, the altar stripped, no flowers, no candles, the tabernacle empty. And I have to admit that as we prepare for this year's Holy Thursday liturgy, I have a bit of that same feeling of emptiness, a bit of hollowness, because the community is not going to be gathering this year. This year, Holy Thursday coincides with the first day of Passover, and later in the month of April, the Muslim people celebrate their holy month of Ramadan. All of us, all the major religious traditions, are trying to find new ways to celebrate these ancient rituals in the midst of self-quarantining, in the midst of this pandemic. I took heart when I read a letter from Rabbi Rick Jacobs. He is the president of the Union for Reform Judaism, and he writes about celebrating the Passover this year. Every year, the question, why is this night different, is asked. This year, the response is going to be far more personal, uh, far deeper than what's found in the pages of a ritual book. Rabbi Jacob speaks to the particular expression of Judaism, but the truth is universal. Why is this night different? All of us are trying to find ways to practice our faith in the midst of this sheltering in place, in the midst of fear for our loved ones who are at risk. But like Rabbi Jacob says, we are a resilient community an imaginative community. The Jewish people have faced challenges at almost every turn throughout history. And that is the story that is told during the Passover meal, the Seder, the story of liberation. And it's a story that needs to be told and remembered again and again. And so he says, we will not take a year off because we need this ritual now more than ever. We need this ritual now more than ever. What for us is the liberation that we need? Is it freedom from fear or depression, from isolation or uncertainty? This year, we gather for our Holy Thursday liturgy around our phones and our tablets, and we hunger for community, for meaning, and for hope. Despite the empty worship space, the bare tabernacle, and the solitude. There's a line in the book of Exodus. Let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. Chapter 25, verse 8. Where is God's presence in the sanctuary, in the physical bricks and mortar? Or is God's presence among them as the line says, is God's presence in us as we gather. God's presence, a sacred space that encompasses all of creation wherever we gather, including around our tablets and our phones. And then that space is not empty at all, we discover. That sacred space of our prayer, our remembrance, our communion with each other and with all the world, all of creation. And so in that sense, in that spirit of fullness and of gratitude, I wish you all blessings of this holiest week.